It's been quite a journey for tight end Grant Calcaterra from Oklahoma. SMU is where he played his college football last year, and now he's a member of the Philadelphia Eagles. He's here to talk about it with me, Eagles insider Dave Spadaro. Grant, welcome to Philadelphia. Yeah. Uh, first day in the NovaCare Complex. How are things yeah. going? Oh, it's been great. Yeah, it's been a kind of a busy day, just seeing everything, meeting a bunch of people, but it's been good. Is it really fast already? Yeah, I mean, I've just been moving around all day. Yeah, definitely a little bit of an adjustment, but like I said, really excited to be here. Grant, we talked on Saturday on Zoom. Um, your family was totally rowdy. Yeah. Oh having yeah. a great time. Yeah. What was the weekend like after that? Uh, it was great. I mean, kind of celebrated uh, that night. Uh, Sunday kind of relaxed, and then Monday just kind of met with the coaches and stuff and started getting ready for this weekend. Initial thoughts on... Like, are you, a, are you that kind of learner that it really you absorb stuff really quickly? Yeah, I mean, I'd like to say I have a, I have a high football IQ and can kind of learn fast. Um, I mean, obviously, it's something that I've been, you know, focusing on this last week, just, you know, wanting to get in and adapt as fast as possible. In retrospect, was the draft and all the process, all the questions, all the workouts, everything you dreamed about? I guess. I mean, it was really stressful. It was a long process. Draft day was a long day. Um, but, I mean, when it's all said and done, I'm really happy to be here. Uh, I feel like it's a great, a great fit for me and just really excited to get going. The way you've moved around in your career, the way you gave up the game, we talked about it briefly on Saturday, the appreciation that you have for being in this position. I mean, it yeah. really must make you feel great about kind of the decisions you've made along the way. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, it gives me a whole new perspective, uh, a perspective that, you know, no other – you know, new draft guy has, and uh, I think it kind of sets me apart from a lot of guys and, um, you know, just my willingness and um, my passion to be successful and, you know, win and, and play for a long time, I think, is different from other people. So, um, you know, I'm really grateful for my, for my journey. Is the passion deeper, more intense, having been away from the game for, for a year? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's, you know, it's cliche, like you'd never know how much you appreciate something until it's gone. And so um, I definitely have a, a, a greater appreciation for football. Last year, SMU, um, did, you, did you get right back into it quickly? Was there t did it take time to knock off Rust? Uh, no, not really. Um, I kind of remember my first practice kind of being like, oh, how's this going to go? But, you know, I had a good practice, was able to have a good spring ball. Um, so I, I think I picked it up fast. Um, you know, I've been doing it for so long, it just kind of comes natural at that point. Fill in this, this sentence, end of the sentence. To excel at tight end in the NFL, Grant Calcaterra must do what? Uh, be versatile. I think that's a, a sign of any, any good tight end is being able to do a little bit of everything. I think besides the quarterback uh, on offense, the tight end needs to know, you know, more than anybody else. And so uh, it's important that, you know, you can be – a good guy in the film room, you know, pick up on things, uh, get better that way. And then on the field, you need to be able to run routes and, and block. So um, I think you need to be versatile to be a good tight end in the NFL. It's that blocking part that, <laughs> that tight ends don't really yeah. seem to love. You embrace that? Yeah, absolutely. I think I, I did a lot more at SMU uh, than I did at Oklahoma. And I, you know, I embrace it. I like that part of the game. I think it's important. So, you know, whatever I can do to help my team be successful, I'm going to do. So what advice have you gotten along the way here to to make it in the NFL? Just kind of be a sponge. I think rookie year, everybody talks about, you know, it's kind of, it can kind of be stressful and, you know, it's an adjustment. And so just kind of be a sponge, you know, soak everything in, uh, you know, try to learn every day, try to improve every day. So I'm just kind of trying to take it day by day. Are there tight ends throughout your life that you've watched and said, I really love the way that guy plays? Yeah, honestly, a guy that I've watched since I was young was uh, Zach Ertz. You know, obviously he played here, and um, I just loved his style of play. Uh, I feel like him and I have some similarities. You know, I try to model my game after him a little bit, and so um, he's definitely a guy who I've watched for a long time. So how would you describe that? You model your game after him. What stylistically stands out? I just, I just feel like uh, the way that him and I run routes and create separation is, is kind of similar. Um, you know, he's not, you know, humongous, you know, 6'6", 265, you know, a bruising guy. And that's, I'm not that way either. Um, but, you know, he gets the job done. He's, he's been successful, you know, his whole career. And so um, I try to, you know, take, uh, you know, bits of his game and try to uh, add it into mine. You are taking this step into the unknown. Um, exciting? Nerve-wracking? Nerve How would you describe it? Yeah, I think a little bit of everything. I think more just excited, um, you know, going into a new situation is kind of, you know, takes an adjustment, but I'm really excited to be here and, um, 
you know, I couldn't think of a better situation for me. Have your parents said, hey, we'll, we'll see you in Philly soon? Uh, no. <laughs> they'll, uh, I know they'll be out for games and stuff um, when they can, but, yeah, they're, they, I mean, they know my dad uh, has been to Philadelphia, and he, you know, loves it, and so i um, excited for them to come out. It's a really so interesting point. room here, you know, with, with Dallas, who's established, and then some Jack, who's in his second year. I mean, you're going to yeah. get kind of a little bit of everything from all of I guess that's why being a sponge is a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, there's a lot of a lot of talent in the room and a lot of good players. Uh, I haven't gotten to meet everybody, but um, uh, everybody talks about, you know, how you know how it's a great room, and I think that's important. And so I'm just really excited to get in and learn from those guys. Great. Grant, best yeah, of luck. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Welcome to Philadelphia. Thank you. Grant Calcaterra in for the Eagles rookie minicamp this weekend.